Well, hello. Welcome to IamJoshKnox.com. I'm your host. That's right. I am Josh Knox. Uh, today, I just wanted to show you a couple things related to fast tabs and how they work in Dynamics 365 uh, forms. So I'm on the All Customers form, and as you can see, general address, contact information, miscellaneous details. These are all fast tabs. These are all closed right now. Um, and to open a fast tab, I can simply click on it, or I can open the general fast tab. It's it's here, etc. Um, and Let's say I want to get information in the credit and collections fast tab. I can click on that. And that will open for me as well. And I can see all of the different field values that are inside the credit and collections fast tab. So some things that you can do, right? You can have separate views. So if you want to uh, create an individual view to say, you know, show me contact information. You could toggle and you know have a view for contact information. You can save a different view for miscellaneous detail. So we have a I have a blog post out there that talks more about saved views. Um, something I wanted to show though is is let's say you're not quite sure where the information you want is right. It's it's you know you're looking for tax information let's say and it's on one of these fields but you're not sure which one. Uh, you know one way to do that is you have to you know click on the general tab and say oh is it in there. No, not yet. You know, is it in miscellaneous details? No, I, I don't see it there. Right, and you go where? Where was that tax information? An easy way to do this is if you right-click on the name on the fast tab, you get these options. You have the ability to expand all fast tabs, and so that opens everything. And then you can use our handy Control F and say tax, um, and that'll take you right to the field that you're looking for inside. Uh, the given fast step. So in this case, right, the sales tax group is located on the invoice and delivery fast step. So that uh, expand all, and then you know, if you want it to be clean again, you can collapse all. Uh, it's just a handy feature that makes it easier to find things um, related to fast steps. Now, obviously, if there's things you're you're using a lot and you'd like to to use them repetitively, um, a handy way to service that information is to include it here in the the summary. Right, so if I open a fast tab and I hit Control Shift P, and get our our tools here. We have this Show in Headings option, right? And so if, if I click Show in Headings, let's get a better. Um, so if I say Show in Headings, Control Shift P, Show in Headings, and then I click on, um, you know, let's say the the vendor account. And I close that. It's going to try and summarize the vendor account at the top of the fast tab. It's blank. That's why it's it's showing two dashes there. But that would mean even if a fast tab was closed, you can see that information. You don't get the 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 name of the fields. You're just getting the field values. So so when you're using that technique, you have to have a better sense of of exactly what you're trying to surface, right? Because obviously, the value for a field, right? There's a ten here and a ten here. Or a zero one and a zero one. Right? If you click, if we open sales demographics, you'll see one of those refers to the sales district, and one of those refers to the subsequent. So as you're you're building something like that and creating a saved view around that, you'll need to be you know, just just aware of the values that you're trying to use. So that's just a quick tip on on how to better use fast tabs and more quickly get information, surface the information that you're looking for in within fast tabs on a given form in Dynamics three sixty five. Um, thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any other great tips that, that you think work or, or work better for you as you use Dynamics 365. Love to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching.